Last but not least, my favorite herb for self-defense, St. John's wort, Hypericum perforatum. St. John's wort is a dainty, one to three foot high plant with bright five petal flowers that have long stamens. St. John's wort's bright yellow flowers bloom only around the summer solstice. First, the cautions. Many pharmaceutical drugs can interact with St. John's wort. It should not be taken without medical advice if you regularly take any other medicine, including oral contraceptive pills. Also, this herb can make your skin more sensitive to sunlight. For this reason, it is best to use St. John's wort in autumn and winter, in the darker months of the year. St. John's wort is a fantastic herb for emotional protection. This magical herb possesses a symbolic aura originating from the combination of both sun-worshipping pagan cults and iconic Christianity. In French, it is called Chastiable, hence its other name, Fugademonium, which translates into Scare Devil. For early Christians, the plant's yellow stamens and bright golden flowers suggested sunlight, proof of its effectiveness against the Prince of Darkness. Satan was believed to lose his power when confronted with it. Gathered on St. John's Day, June 24th, and hung above doorways and windows, the herb protected those inside. When burned on midsummer bonfires, it frightened supernatural beings away. Its Latin name, Hypericum perforatum, also gives us clue to its occult past, derived from the Greek word hyper, meaning over, and icon, apparition. This is another reminder that this medicine was used to vanquish evil spirits and ghosts. The English name St. John's word comes from the legend that when St. John the Baptist was decapitated, drops of his blood splashed on the flowers, thus giving the sap of the plant the power to turn red when the sap is exposed to light. St. John's word is traditionally gathered at the summer solstice when the days are long and the sun is bright and it helps bring that solar energy into us. Traditionally, the medicine was used during the darkest days of winter, around the winter solstice. St. John's wort is helpful when you can use a solar shield, a shield of light to protect you. It is a herb set to bring in the angels. This is an interesting parallel to the proven antidepressant effect of St. John's wort. This is a herb you can take before bedtime if you suffer from nightmares. One of the beneficial physical effects of St. John's wort is to improve liver function, the processing of physical wastes and toxins. Interestingly, dreams are a form of emotional detoxification, and I found St. John's wort to be helpful if you experience recurring bad dreams. In dream work, the specific indication for St. John's wort is when you dream of a dark pursuer. St. John's work can be given to children six years of age or older for up to eight weeks. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching.